When Sean Cadley started classes at Duke University in the middle of swine flu fears, she was one of many students across the country to come down with flu-like symptoms. But the freshman was rewarded for her suffering with what students here are calling flu money. I gave like blood, I think like a nasal swab and like a, like a spit sample. It was really gross, but um, and then I got $75 um, for being sick. Cadley is part of a Duke University study that is taking advantage of cash poor and flu prone college students to test a new technology, detecting viruses before symptoms begin by identifying changes in DNA that happen once someone is exposed to a virus. This period from when you're infected to when symptoms start is the time that we want to be able to test people to tell if they're going to get sick so we can start taking action before symptoms show up. The goal of the study is to manufacture a device medical professionals can use to diagnose someone with an illness before any symptoms appear. The Department of Defense is funding the research. In order for our troops to optimally perform, they really need to um, be in the best of health. So even an upper respiratory infection or the flu can um, can make them uh, debilitated. But before that can happen, scientists are using students on the front lines of Jeremy College campuses to collect samples of bodily fluids and then monitor the student's health using an online reporting system. If a student is sick, the flu crew contacts friends and neighbors to collect samples and predict whether or not they will get sick before they show any symptoms. Basically, my friends and I saw the flyers up in our dorm and we were like, hey, we want money. So they said I was a close contact and I could get mad bills for giving them my blood. Balthazar has so far spent the money he got for exposing himself to illness on cereal, prodding, pricking, and swabbing on one college campus, all to fight the flu. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.